हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला माई सेल्फ कोमल यादव रिसर्च स्कॉलर ऑफ गलगोटियाज़ यूनिवर्सिटी अटैच विद सी एफ एस एल सी बी आई न्यू डेली सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज मॉड्यूल वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सेक्शुअल ऑफेंसेज नेचुरल एंड अन नेचुरल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ विक्टिम एंड अक्यूज हाउ कैन वी डू द फॉरेंसिक एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ विक्टिम एंड अक्यूज so the learning outcome of this topic is to make the learners understand the various type of sexual offences medical legal aspect associated with these offences to make the learners understand the procedure to examine the victim and accused of these sexual offences to understand the medical legal aspects of associated with sexual offences first of all in introduction first we are discussing about what is sexual offenses sexual offenses are act of illegal sexual intercourse with another person or animal to obtain sexual gratification sexual offenses basically classified given below sexual offenses are classified as given below sexual offenses is of two types natural and unnatural natural sexual offenses includes rape incest adultery and unnatural sexual offenses includes sodomy buccal coitus tribadism and the bestiality sexual perversions includes sadism masturbation voyeurism frotism unidism masochism necrophilia fetish transversism exhibition rape As per section 375 IPC the definition of rape constitutes the following points a man is said to commit rape when he has sexual intercourse with a woman against her will without her consent with her consent when her consent has been obtained by putting her in fear of death or of hurt with her consent when the man knows that he is not her husband and that her consent is given because she believes that he is another man to whom she is or believes herself to be lawfully married as unsoundness of mind or intoxication with or without her consent when she is under 16 years of age next is the punishment for rape As per section 376 IPC the punishment for rape is as follow it may extend from 7 years to life imprisonment and also fine for custodial rape gang rape minimum 10 years rigorous imprisonment and also fine section 228 IPC prohibits disclosure of identity of victim of rape next is the examination of victim how can we examine the victim as a forensically point of view the main objective for examination of a rape victim covers the following points to search for physical signs that will corroborate the history given by the victim to search for collect and preserve all the trace evidence for laboratory examination to treat the victim for any injuries and any venereal disease or pregnancy next is the procedure how police investigate the rape it has following procedure police advise first of all police advise victim not to change clothes or bath before medical examination exhibit should not be examined without the authority of investigating police officer or magistrate consent of victim guardian date and time identify by escorting female examine without delay vulva tenderness deduction of spermatozoa after the procedure we have some preliminary step which we have to follow for the forensic examination of rape these are first the examination process of the victim should proceed only when asked by the police officer or the magistrate the first step is to obtain a written consent from the victim for the following preliminary steps these are the examination of the crime scene photography of the crime scene 
कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल द स्पेसिमैन विच आर फाउंड एट द स्पॉट ऑफ क्राइम सीन रिलीज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टू कंसर्न अथॉरिटीज नॉट इफ द विक्टिम इज अंडर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स और इज इंसेन रिटर्न कंसेंट हैज टू बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम हर पेरेंट्स और गार्जियंस ऑप्टेन एंड राइट हिस्ट्री इन द विक्टिम्स वर्ड्स विच शुड इंक्लूड द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट इज द विक्टिम्स केस हिस्ट्री हिज और हर प्रिमिलरी अफेयर्स टाइम एंड प्लेस ऑफ ऑफेंस डिटेल्स ऑफ स्ट्रगल रजिस्टेंस और कॉल फॉर हेल्प पेन हिमोरेज appearance of discharge events after the old nail scraping collection and their photography photography of the injuries on the body of the victim it provides a very important clue next is a preliminary examination the doctor must record the following person who bought the survivor a short factual account of the incident survivors history for habits intercourse vaginal discharge infections pregnancy and their menstrual history survivors general behavior mental stage sign of alcohol or drug influence are noted to know if she has had a bath or change of cloth if she change the cloth it is very difficult to identify the evidences which provide or which help in the investigation of the rape cases it is difficult for the doctors to examine under the medical reports next we examine the clothes in the examination of cloth it's help to ascertain whether the clothes are those worn at the time of attack or not the clothes should be retained if possible and labeled and handed over to the police next we go for the searching of foreign hairs fibers etc must be preserved it helps in the identification of dna next is the examination of the victim this aspect should broadly includes the following points first is the general examination marks of violence identified scratches marks bites bruises on the forearms wrist face mouth throat chest and lower abdomen inner thigh and the back all mark recorded and carefully described with regards to their appearance extent situation and probability duration these marks and the coloration of marks changes with the duration of time and it helps to identify whether the victim is having rape or not these are the very important clues which help in the identification to the investigating officer of the police pastel on the face partial asphyxia due to forcibly restraint swabs are taken of teeth marks on the survivor's body for the presence of accused saliva broken nails are noted and derbis under the nails removed for examination we can also do genital examination it can also provide the important clues these are it is examined by the specialist doctor they can give very important clues genital organ examined for signs of bleeding bruises and laceration mated pubic hair due to the presence of semen is cut off for examination comb hair, pubic hair for non matching hair and the root study is very much important for the dna purpose of matching dried seminal stains on the external genitals and thigh are scraped off by mean of clean blunt knife for subsequent examination hymen examined for the rupture sign if survivor was virgin before the attack then it was break vaginal secretion obtained by introducing a sterile cotton wool swab for the presence or spermatozoa within 24 hours it is having one slight test which detect the spermatozoa but it can detect spermatozoa within 24 hours after 24 hours it is very difficult to determine in in the test whether spermatozoa is present or not 
any mucopurulent or purulent discharge is examined for the sign of STDs, sexually transmitted disease. In case of pregnancy, what happen? When a victim is pregnant and won't like to seek abortion, a stringent procedure is adhered to. According to Abortion Act 1967, termination of pregnancy (TOP) is illegal in Malaysia. However, it can be allowed if fetus endangered the mother's health or if pregnancy causes great psychological stress to the mother. Under the Medical Act, the recommendations of these specialists make TOP legal. Next is the rape on a virgin. How can we identify whether the woman or victim is virgin or not? It includes some symptoms. These are the laceration and the rapture of woman which is present in the virgin, tearing posturally at sides or in middle, margin sharp and bleed on touch. And there are labia minora, swells and trends, scratches and bruises by the fingers of excellent dark red purple in 24 hours. Vagina within 3 to 4 days, ages of laceration, congested and swollen, heal in 1 week and never unite. Rape on a deflorate woman, even without childbirth, hymen destroyed. Vaginal orifice dilated, mucous membrane thickened and wrinkled. Only evidence is semen and the spermatozoa. Resistance, local injuries, tearing of vagina, older women's senile atrophy and the friability, extensive vaginal laceration and perineal trauma. Injury obscure in within 3 to 4 days. Rape on child, no signs of general violence as child has no idea, incapable of resisting. Hymen is deep in vagina, it is very small, difficult to penetration, during penetration of penis, compressed labia and causes bruises. It tears the hymen layer and their posterior, ant and post vaginal wall, premium, anterior, Anorectal canal, vaginal hymeration of abdominal viscerals. Next is the collaborative sign of rape. These are the, how can we identify these are the collaborative sign of rapes or not? First one is the presence of seminal fluid, vaginal discharge, struggle and findings related to time of assault, wounds, seminal material, motility and the STDs, these are the sexual transmitted disease. Specimens to be collected from the victim, these are abused head hairs, pubic hair combing, abused pubic hair and their blood group, unique, uh, urine drug screening, nail scraping for blood or tissue. Saliva for secretor group, swab from bite marks for saliva. If we collected all these evidences, these are very helpful to identify the victim with the suspect. Without these, we can never identify the person. These are a very important points which can help to identify or match or link the suspect to the victim. Next, natural sexual offenses incest what is incest incest is the sexual intercourse by a man with woman who is closely related to him by blood group these are crime of having sexual intercourse with the parent child sibling or grandchild like incest it includes which is having the blood relations it occurs between defectives unable to understand. It is prohibition against it. Maybe alcohol removes the sense of prohibition, cerebral disease, senile degradation, relatives separated in childhood 
or close relations living in intimacy next we are discussing about unnatural offenses unnatural offenses include sodomy what is sodomy sodomy is generally anal or oral sex between people or sexual activity between a person and a known human animal anal intercourse between two males or males and females these are the first which have seen in the genotrophila it is a pass passive agent adult and the pedantry this is a passive as agent child next is a kenamite frequent and am among sailors frequent among sailors prisoners hostlers military barracks and in include hermaphrodites may act as passive agents how can we examine the passive agent first one is the consent history and the degree of penetration perineal and the rectal swab it also includes rectal bruising fissure inflammations anal muscle dilated tender spinter form prolapsed and the digital examination which includes the loss of elastic elasticity admitting finger anal blood stains which includes lubricants fecal matter pain on walking and abrasion 1 to 2 days perineal hemomotia 10 days tissue weeks after 10 days the tissue becomes weak day by day you can notice it after 10 days next is the habitual passive agent anal skin become thickened extend deeper and the funnels shaped of depression of buttock loss of fat it complete relaxation of splinters around 5 cm and the muscles loses their tone anal fissure piles and stds next is the specimens to be collected at the scene of crime these are head hairs pubic hairs blood group urine during screening nail scraping for blood or tissue swabs soiled areas of skin anal rectum swabs penis of accused next we are discussing about active agents active agents include smell of anal glands on penis the smell of anal glands of penis provides a very evident clue whether it is having a case of recent rape or not traces of feces and the lubricants abrasion of precuse glands penis elongated and constricted twisted urethra after that we go for std and hiv these are the sexually transmitted disease and the hiv human immunovirus next unnatural sexual offenses buccal coitus or sin of goremba what is it it is the sexual offense in which male organ introduced into into the mouth of child what happen in this how can we find out the evidence in case of buccal coitus these are the teeth marks and the abrasion on penis in case it is having death aspiration of semen impaction of penis in orofnexia semen in respiratory tract or stomach which creates a uh, lots of problem for the child next unnatural offenses tribadism what is tribadism in female homosexualism sexual activity between two females in which one is dominant and other is submissive genital scraps marks abrasion masculine due to endocrine disturbances in different to opposite sex in case of tribadism mental degenerate psychological 
social and the developmental factors next unnatural sexual offense is bestiality what is bestiality bestiality is the sexual intercourse with lower animals domestic farm animals or pet calves sheep duck geese donkeys and dogs in this bestiality unnatural sexual offense people is doing uh, taking sexual pleasure with their domestic animals vaginal anal all the villagers while grazing mental derangements false believe cure for gonorrhea sign in accused are penis contaminated with animal feces vaginal secretion here tearing of glands injury marks on teeth kicks claws and what are the signs uh, sign in animals by what these are human semen in vagina and anus abrasions discharge next is sexual perversion what is perversion basically perversion is a type of human behavior that deviates from that which is understood to be orthodox or normal although the term perversion can refer to a variety of forms of deviation it is most often used to describe sexual behavior that are considered particularly abnormal repulsive or obsessive in sexual perversion first we are discussing about sadism next in sexual perversion we are discussing about sadism what is sadism it is the tendency to drive pleasure especially sexual gratification obtained from the act of physical activities infliction of pain bite beat whip inflict cuts lust murder extreme cases outbreak of paroxysmal sexual desire cutting of breast genital eat flesh intercourse with dying injured victim it is also called necrophilia it may cause mental disease anger jealousy and revenge in sexual perversion next we are discussing about masochism what is masochism next in sexual perversion we are discussing about masochism so what is it the tendency to drive sexual gratification from one's own pain or humiliation in masochism there are few symptoms these are beaten abused tormented humiliated and slave bound dominated by partner bondage includes both sadism and the masochism next sexual perversion is necrophilia necrophilia is a sexual intercourse with or attraction toward corpses offense committed on newly buried corpses body awaited burial corpses may be mutilated following intercourse these are decomposition strange and coldness play a part next sexual perversion is fetishism it is the compulsive use of some object or the part of the body as a stimulus in the course of attaining sexual gratification some men use the part of women articles for the sexual gratification they includes like articles under cloth shoes flower a lock of hair mere act of stealing flesh afford satisfaction so these symptom fetches is very common in males next sexual perversion is transversism or conism it is also called transvestism it is a practice of dressing and acting in a style or manner traditionally associated with opposite sex males wear female dresses it is psychological individual attraction to opposite sex violent against own sex it is associated with homosexuality 
सैडोमैशियजम और इन दिस केस नो हारमोनल डिस्टर्बेंस जेनाइटल एबनॉर्मलिटीज इज सीन नेक्स्ट सेक्शुअल प्रोविजन इज मास्टुबेशन इट इज डेलीबरेटली सेल्फ स्टिमुलेशन विच अफेक्ट सेक्शुअल अराउजल इट इज ऑफेंस ओनली वैन इट इज प्रैक्टाइज इन ओपन एरियाज लाइक टेलीफोन बूथ्स पब्लिक टॉयलेट्स एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट सेक्शुअल प्रोविजन इज एग्जिबिशम इट इज द इंटेंशनल एक्सपोजर ऑफ प्राइवेट पार्ट्स इन पब्लिक इन प्रजेंस ऑफ अदर्स टू ऑप्टेन सेक्शुअल प्लेजर लाइक मेल शोज देयर प्राइवेट पार्ट टू सर्च चिल्ड्रन और अपोजिट सेक्स वुमेन इन पब्लिक साइकोपैथ और न्यूरोसिस इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज पनिशेबल ऑफेंस एक्ट वन इट इज डूइंग इन द ओपन एरियाज नेक्स्ट सेक्शुअल ऑफेंस इज वॉर्निज्म और स्कॉट ऑफ इंडिया इट इज ए काउंटर पार्ट ऑफ एग्जिबिशन इज वॉयगोर सी पीपल अनड्रेस टू सेक्शुअली ग्रेटिफाइड इट इज वेरी कॉमन इन मेल सोशोपैथिक पर्सनैलिटी डिसऑर्डर इट इज कॉल्ड समटाइम्स असोल्ट विक्टिम और कमिट मर्डर अदर सेक्शुअल प्रोवर्जन इज फोटोसिज इट इज द कॉन्टैक्ट विद अदर पर्सन रबिंग इन क्राउड यूजली इम्पोर्ट अंडजम विटनेसिंग एक्ट ऑफ यूरिनेशन pyromania it is seeing flames destruction of building psychosexual disorders indecent assault offense committed on female with intention of outranging her modesty against ch children adolescents these are the these all are about the sexual offenses or these are natural unnatural and the sexual perversion next we are discussing about what are the parameters we are taking for the analysis of semen these are volume of semen liquefaction time and the sperm count sperm morphology sperm motility ph of sperm and the white blood cell count samples collected and their purpose first one is the urethral swabs and smears the purpose of this is main for the detection of semen and the spermatozoa gonocci etc second one is the loose foreign pubic hair of fiber present on the accused of the body the main purpose of this for the correlation with the event and the victim next is the stains of semen blood mud grass or other foreign material on the body of the accused it help for the correlation with the event and the place of occurrence next is the penile washing for examine the presence of vaginal epithelia next one is the nail scraping it help for the examination of tissues embedded in them during struggle buccal mucosa swabs how it help it collects for the saliva examination next is the urethral swabs it helps to collect for the examination of any venereal diseases after that we are discussing about blood blood helps to collect for the grouping serological examination next is x ray x ray helps for the age estimation specially in case of delinquency plea 